All right, here's the moment of truth. This is my new workbench. I actually put mahogany inserts in the gap in the middle, mahogany wedges, because uh, I rethought the 10 inch oak and thought it might be a little too long. Um, I actually left that knot in there because I thought it looked cool. I could have put it on the bottom, tried to put a couple of knots. They got a lot of great colors in them. See that. This is what it started off as. <clears throat> Standard piece of uh, four by six. I've been sitting out in the yard for a long time. And a couple of beams that kind of look like micro lamb, about eight feet long, it turned out to be maple butcher block. Um, it got jointed and milled and planed down into dimensional lumber to make this and we're gonna drop some we're gonna drop some oil on it here just gonna blow it off here quick so the uh, the beams of maple were just weren't wide enough to make a table out of, so I decided that they were the perfect size for a workbench since I needed one. It's been sanded out to 400 grit, flattened, because I had to take a, an eighth of an inch bow out of it I think I caused when I clamped it up because the gap in the middle it bowed up in the middle so I had to take an eighth of an inch out of it. I've been at it since seven o'clock this morning here. Now let's see what it looks like with some oil on it. It's regular butcher block oil. Is a thing of beauty. That came out awesome. Those knots look great. All right, well, you've seen it. Now I just got to get to work on the base. That is my new workbench. And like I said, it started out as one of these 12 feet long and two of these about eight feet long. Thanks for keeping an eye on me.